Welcome to the You Win Tool Parade, the teacher-to-teacher -teacher open overview of what EdTech can do for you. From the University of Windsor Faculty of Education, I'm Stephanie, and today we're talking Padlet. Padlet is a virtual bulletin board where teachers and students can collaborate, share resources, websites, videos, and more. Don't worry, if you like designing a real-life bulletin board, Padlet won't take away that joy. If you aren't into bulletin boards, this is a great alternative. Teachers have a lot of choice. You can have students do a sticky note wall, a live question bank, videos, resources, and so much more. The possibilities of contribution with Padlet are endless. So how can we use it? The educator can ask a question and have students respond on the class Padlet, or students can set up their own Padlet to use as a portfolio for their work. Padlet has three different layouts and numerous themes that educators can pick from to make the Padlet their own an open space that allows students to contribute any kind of information they want? What about bad links, bad language, and bad fads gracing the internet screens of all the students? Padlet can censor any profanity and vulgar language and allows teachers to check students' posts before they go live. Padlet's biggest downfall is its payment system. Not only do you pay with data, but you pay with real money. There is a free option, but you're only allowed three Padlets. You can delete Padlets when you're done with them, but if you want more than three, you're going to have to pay. There is an educator's plan, though, and it's $99 for the year, which actually gets you a lot of features such as unlimited Padlets, better privacy for students, and a lot more customization options. Padlet also makes you pay through data. They can access information such as your search history, IP address, device information, and much more. Padlet also has cookies, so they can advertise third parties to you on their website, as well as advertise themselves outside of the Padlet space. So privacy can be a bit of a cautionary tale with Padlet, but if you're willing to pay the $99, it has some very beneficial features. In terms of accessibility, it's great for students because it's available across all devices, including personal and school. Padlet allows teachers and students to post notes and videos from the class for those students who may not be understanding the lesson in the moment. Teachers can also use Padlet to gauge student understanding of a lesson by asking a closing question or an exit card. The teacher can ask the question and students can post their answer on the class Padlet or the student's own Padlet. Padlet also allows teachers to teach students how to search for relevant information and share it with others so that the students can teach other students. In an age of knowledge abundance, this is a skill that a lot of students don't have experience with. Another great feature is that any format of link, video, document, or more is supported on Padlet. So regardless of what students can access due to money, location, or accessibility, they can still post to Padlet. And students with writing or processing challenges can post a photo or visual representation rather than having to write an essay. So overall, Padlet gets a big apple for creating a place to share and collaborate. Only a quarter of an apple on the data front because it lacks a lot of privacy, and three quarters of an apple for the differentiation piece because it is accessible across all platforms. So overall, two out of three apples for Padlet. Thanks for talking Padlet with us. Follow us at hashtag YouWinToolParade and let us know what platforms you want us to look at close up.